As a mage, my duty is to sneak in every, I mean, sniff in every possible fucking bookshelf and find unknown crap. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Black Kaiser Couriers of Darkness. I'm your man, ladies and gentlemen. We are embarking on an epic adventure on a land filled with war. With an ancient curse of greed, where your choices in the end will matter, either good or evil. Another was is basically a rank playing game, which, as you all know, I love. But there's a twist, ladies and gentlemen. I am quite old. My ass is quite old. I'm gonna be completely honest with you here. Uh, when I was a kid, I used to play, I have famous, I think, at this some point, a game called Baldur's Gate. That game had a very special place on my shelf of the best games I've ever fucking played and I'm still looking for a worthy successor. I haven't played Baldur's Gate 3, but I'm missing this isometric, uh, typical ring play game thingy. And I think that this is gonna be the closest thing in my search, I hope. The key has been supplied by the publishers, which I'm very, very grateful for. And, well, let's end this rambling over here, ladies and gentlemen, because we have to create ourselves a party? You can choose a character below, or customize it, or create one from scratch. I want to make myself a new one, because, well, reasons, I guess. So first things first, of course, we have to check, uh, pick ourselves, like, a, uh, a picture. I can actually change this thing, or I'm stuck with this one. Humans. Okay, humans come in many different shapes and colors. <laughs> can be found all over Yerend uh, Yerengal. They are natural farmers, working in the land, uh, as an artist works clay. Human... Versatility means they can fill virtually any role. Okay, so we got dwarves, elves. What the fuck is this thing? My blade is sure. My arrow true. Oh, okay, so basically those are frost elves. Uh, similar to elves, but much more paler. They are resistant to hard environment, who most would consider unlivable. They are only seen outside of their snowy northern homelands, and most other races are very distrustful on them. Okay, and I'm guessing this is gonna be some wooden elf. Coming serves where violence will not. What the hell are those guys? Why do you have tusks? What are you? Uh Okay, so I'm guessing you're some type of a uh, orc? I think. Okay, I'll I'll probably try to play a class as a like a typical human. Battle. Good! Stats. Can be any class. Minus maximum supernatural. Oh, okay. Breaking what about the dwarves? Or breaking skulls. Same to me. So dwarves cannot be necromancers, winter mages, spell weavers, druids, templars, rogues. Can wield war clubs and hammers regardless of class. Okay. What about elves? My blade is sure. My arrow true. Cannot be a shaman and cannot be a templar. Maximum dexterity. Uh, minus two physiques. Damage with bows and arrows. Weapons made out of wood. Resistance to was this is too depressive? Oh my god, my hero can have depression. My blade is sure. My arrow true. Uh intelligence, charisma. Okay, I'm not exactly sure which stats are good for a mage. Because I would like to become a mage at some point. So let's just play as a human, you know? Okay, uh, class. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen classes. Winter mage. In the pitiless cold, I reign. All right. Uh, there are wizards called Winter Mages who seek the mastery of the harsh magics of the cold north. They have extremely high resistance to cold. They can withstand temperatures that would kill mortal men. Because of this, they are uncomfortable in warmer climates. But some Winter Mages still travel to further their knowledge. Winter Mages need less sleep than other mortals. <laughs> yeah, they run on caffeine, basically. Uh, using a technique they developed known as cold sleep. Powerful Winter Mages can use their knowledge and magical skills to craft ice golems, which can serve as mighty guardians. I can actually can uh, can I actually build myself a golem? I don't think so. So uh, so we got the convoker, which apparently acts as a summoner, uh, necromancer, ranger, shaman, spellweaver. Wise shall fear my spells. Okay, can wear light armor with supernatural is greater than two. Can we defend weapons, slings, and stuff like that? Focus on racer basis, intelligence to wrestle base, starting brewing and drying, start learning and research. Description. Spellweavers are the most common common form of wizards in uh, Yarendal. 
They are a vital world itself. Spell weavers focus on exploring as many of the each magical discipline as possible. Thus, no two spell weavers are the same. They all they share is uh, in common is a unquenchable thirst, unquenchable thirst for knowledge. Spell weavers are mostly too busy studying the arcane to bother with material training, and as such, rally on their mastery of the eldritch magic to protect them. Okay. Yeah, so I think we're gonna play as the spell weaver. Swindler? Ah, so you're some type of a rogue. Okay, and necromancer? Obviously, the necromancer is focused on death magic, I guess. Uh, small blades, lots of stabs. Yeah, increase the damage dealt by summoned creatures. Okay, I don't think I'm gonna go with summoned creatures, but maybe that's like a viable option to play. Nah. I want to have a spell that's basically is gonna be equivalent of an apocalypse spell, okay? And yes, you can uh, multi-class in this game. So, uh, as a mage, can you make like a Kensai from, let's say, Baldur's Gate? If I would find myself somebody who actually is not, uh, not wearing, um, uh, prefers not to wear any armor, then I think we could try to play as a viable Kensai in this game as well. A shaman, I guess? Can only wear light armor and robes. See, for example, this one works. Focus intelligent, uh, intelligence, supernatural traces, base, starting brewing and drying. Yeah, so th this is like a viable option. Damage to necromancers, damage to relentless undead, resistance to illusion and manipulation, duration to spells, increases health for summoned creatures. Okay, so the shaman actually feels more for like a necromancer, uh, necromancer's bane, I guess. So, if I would fight. As a spell weaver, I'm guessing the oh I cannot pick uh, the Wither Mage or I cannot pick the Necromancer. Ha! Huh. Okay, well, for now we're gonna stick to the Mage. Okay. Now let's see what else we have over here. Uh, I got 19 points to this to distribute to allocate in my in my things. So this is how the game suggests: physique, dexterity, intelligence. Can I get more intelligence? I can! Hold on a second! Hold on a minute, boy! <laughs> Supernatural. What the fuck is this thing for? Space if a uh, uh, feature of characters that elevates them above ordinary creatures. The value of Supernatural increases characters' base health, resistance values against various forms of damage, enables further special abilities for warriors and outlaws, and increases the number of elevated energy slots for wizards and priests. Oh! Okay! So I've went something like this, right? Some physics because we need some some hit points just in case I don't want to get one shot because of a like, random spell going around. Uh, dexterity because, well, I kinda need to have probably to use a slink, so that'll be nice. Intelligence because this is gonna be my main resource for casting spells. Bit of a focus, so I won't get interrupted too many times. Not gonna put anything into charisma, so we just have to probably try to go some more killing. I'm uh, gonna put two into supernatural, then resistance two to heat, one to cold. In games like this, in my opinion, poison is the biggest pain in the ass. I've put all seven into it. So we'll see how that thing's gonna go. Ah! Now we're talking, now time for the good shit. Ah, uh, hmm. Which one I should actually try to take? Class specific, uh, class specific. Prodigy. Arcane studies. Magical perception. Magical warding. Each point on focus increases the skill by 1%. What do I actually do? Decreases the chance for an ambush and the minimum distance needed for a hostile creature to rest by up to 50%. This skill is inactive until a skill point is invested into it. Oh. That's nice to know. But again, persuasion. Learning and research. Offers the ability to read various texts, scrolls, and recipes. Scrolls can then be casted or recorded into spellbooks, where recipes can be learned and added to the compendium. Each point of intelligence increases the skill by 1.5%. Each point of focus increases the skill by 0.5%. Each point of learning and research increases this skill by 4%. Total 53. One, I have one final point to distribute around here. Uh... Sure, brewing, brewing and drying. Uh, crafting potions. So we can craft potions in this one? Okay, sure, why not? 
Uh, I need to get slings probably. I'm, I'm not gonna go into melee combat at least for now, so going into slings, that's for sure. Magical perception. Magical warding. And then we have initial spells. Corrosive bolt, death pulse, fever, summon spider, and wasps, wasp assault. <laughs> Great! So I've read through this thing and I go went for something with this. Close of Bolt because this is an actual spell. I didn't went with the Death Pulse because this is uh, a wave that goes around the castle and damage, damages everybody. So yeah, I, th that means I'll have to go into melee combat. Not something really like I, I want to control right now. Uh, Wasp Assault, uh, in my opinion, is gonna be better. This spell controls a swarm of angry wasps to attack at the, ca the caster's target and enemy, any enemies in their vicinity. Deals 1 to 5 stabbing damage to the target, scales up to level 9. Uh, while this one just summons two forest crawlers for 3 turns. I'm not sure how good the spiders are, so we're gonna go for now with the wasps uh, assault and see how that is gonna go. I went into one point into learning and research, because after all I am a seeker of knowledge. Then we get with, I went with arcane studies. Uh, enchants aptitude of elevated energy level spells. Both increases available casting slots for such spells, as well as decreasing the time needed to rest between casting them. Cooldown between, cool between elevated energy level spells is decreased by up to 50%. This skill is inactive until a skill point is invested, so my total is at the moment 30%, which is very nice, I guess. Uh, appearances. Ah! Now we are talking. Major color. Uh, hairstyle. <laughs> I can go bald if I really want to. Uh, yeah, which one should I may choose? Uh, let's go with this one, why not? Which picture describes me the best? Yeah, probably this one. Yeah, certainly. This one just works. So more or less, ladies and gentlemen, this is my character. We got a voice, we got a name, we got a difficulty for classic. I don't, I don't know what to expect on the two uh, other difficulty levels and I don't want to go with story. I maybe could try to go on veteran. I actually hope you can change this thing in the middle of the game. You have a lot of experience with rank playing games. Yeah, but for the purpose of uh, let's play, you know, I want to keep this thing more or less smooth. So this is my for now build. So let's see how this thing is gonna go, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, would you like to know about main quest guidance? You can change this later in settings. Yes, please. I need any fucking guidance I can get for now. And later on... <laughs> Ward is my osher! And I'm... I'm not really hungry. Oh my god! Oh, why didn't I look here first? And more to the point, why must I come fetch you for every little thing? I have no damn idea who the fuck are you. Sorry, who are you supposed to be? What I'm supposed to be doing? Har har, you are so very droll. Ugh, you'd better hope Lord Espin is in as good a humor today. You do know this is the day the Lords of Isselbright are visiting. Ugh, please, don't answer. I like this voice acting. I'm, I'm so glad that it's actually voice acting. The Lords are already here and waiting to be served. And for goodness sake, don't forget to gather your things from your chest before you come to table. Aye aye. Whatever you are, whoever you are, random woman that just approached out of nowhere. Yay! Hey! You have received a quest. To inspect the objective, press O. Oh my fucking god, there's a. Okay, journal, compendium. Who the fuck was that woman? Has been part of my life on the Espen estate for as long as I can remember. She was only a child herself when she arrived not long before I did. I've always looked up to her, asked her help with every little thing, and buried my face in her skirts when I was sad and afraid. She, as a close to a mother figure, as an orphan is likely to get. Despite her size, Belianne always had a commanding but not arrogant way about her. The other servants would sometimes call her the little duchess after casually scanning, ab scanning about to ensure she wasn't within Earshot, of course. I used to resent Berlian looking over my shoulder and overseeing me at my shores, but I eventually came to realize she was looking out for me. If, if she wasn't too strict, so strict all the time, I might even call her a friend. Nice. This is very, very nice so far at least. So okay, the adventure, ladies and gentlemen. 
begins. So what the hell is going on over here? Because my, 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 my event box over here is full of like info. What the fuck are you doing? Who puts the lights out? Amazing. Woo. Uh, okay. Wow. Really? Oh, there's a cat over here. Get over here. There's a cat. Yeah, I know. I have an attention sp sp spin of a wooden spoon. A cat. No, I cannot pet you. That's a bit disappointing. Okay, there's some some uh, spell animations. That's nice. That's nice. Open the press tab to highlight objects of interest. Ah, okay. Yay! Loading new scenery. I like where this week is going so far. I'm getting I'm getting this Baldur's Gate vibe here. Which is very nice. Make haste, you know the might. The guests are waiting. At once. I am a waitress or something like that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh open the local map by again by kicking M. Meeting room. Kitchen. My room. Okay, I was supposed to go to my room to pick up something. Move it! Go, 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 go! Royal Guard. Right, let's do those more runs. Right, so this is supposed to be my room. Ah, great. Did I pick it up? Yes, I did. What's over here? Uh, old dump rope. Hmm. Sure. I'm supposed to wear that thing? I hope not. Right, nothing else to look uh, around here with. Really? Drop. Category rope. But I already have one like this one. Oh my god, I'm naked. I already have something like this in my hand. Uh, put the weapon here. Oh yeah! Okay, go to the military room to find Berlin. You can check her location on the map. Yeah, I think I know where she is. I'm just gonna go through the fucking kitchen. A pinch of salt, a dash of spice, and something. I have arrived! When are they going to serve the food? Let's just get it over we shall we? Anyone else feel like this too hot in here? Okay, uh, where is she? There she is. Hello! At last! Ugh, don't go twisting an ankle in all your hurry. You take care of the drinks. Lord Woolcraft and Lady Larenthal prefer wine. Lord Joran would like ale. Lady Virulin and Lord Espen want mead. Go! I already forgot what I need to do. Okay. Right, on this uh, left side of the loading panel, you can see the counter with all the items inside. On the right side, you can see your character's inventory. Hover over an item to space some of its features. Click on the right mouse button to display them all. Okay, you can click on a single item with the left mouse button to loot it. Pitch of ale. You can also deposit your items into enable containers, crates, boxes, barrels, and cabinets. Stored items will be kept safe until your next visit to the con uh, container. To deposit into the container, open the looting panel, then click on the item displayed under your character's inventory. When you're done, click on the close button to finish the process. You can interact with other non-player characters by clicking on them. The default mode of interaction for friendly and natural uh, characters is stalking. Attacking is default interaction for hostile creatures characters. Click on the lord or lady to serve them their drink. Shouldn't I like pick up everything first? There? Uh... Ah, the staff. I was starting to wonder if you'd all fallen ill with the plague or something. Yeah, yeah, I'm sorry to stop you. I'll be back in a moment. <sighs> yeah, yeah, whatever. I already forgotten what you need to be served. Brewing? No. Where's the human spell weaver? That's nice. Uh, where's... Um, nope, map. Operations. Berlin told me that all the tastes of our guests, Lord Woodcroft and Lady Ranter, prefer wine. Lady Virienne, Joran. Okay, so wine and wine. Uh, operations. Lord Lo uh, Lauren would like ale. Lady Virienne and Lord Espen want meat. Let me guess. This is gonna be Lord Joran. Lord, v uh, Lord Espen. Okay. Sure. <laughs> this is the first quest and I'm already confused. Uh, Lord Warcraft and Lady Retena prefer wine. Okay, says so you two. Oh, the staff. I Your wine? I will what? Wait. I give you the wrong thing? 
I don't think I gave you the wrong queen. Yes, yes, get on with it. You're wine, lady. I suppose you expect me to toss you a coin for doing your job. I expect you to be a little bit more polite unless you want to choke on that fucking wine. Right, uh... What was the other one? Okay, they're served. Okay, good. Lord Joran would like ale. Lord Joran would like ale. Hello. Lord Joran, I have arrived with your drink. Your ale, my lord. You know this is supposed to be served at room temperature. No, of course you don't. Pure barbarian at the room temperature. Filth! Okay, and you? You're here, finally. Uh, wait, you want meat or you want ale? I think you want meat, right? Please. Yes, 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 whatever, shut up. You want... Lady Varian and Lord Espen want meat. You're here. Espen? Finally. Okay, uh, your meat. Ah, good. Finally, it's somebody who's fucking happy. Ugh, the carriage was quite stuffy, and my throat is sorely parched. Your meat, my lady. That's what I wanted for a change. Happy to serve you. No, really, I'm so fucking happy. Shall we do business, gentlemen? Gentle yeah. ladies? Yes. Yes, let's. We are convened to discuss the situation with Daron Gould. What has been rumored and suspected for so long has finally come to pass. A council of nobles with mining interests in the town have declared themselves independent from the crown of Isilmerald. As I said already, I love the fact that there's voice acting in this game. I don't like this dirty business. Sending a list of grievances to the king. Sounds more like the actions of a bunch of uppity peasant farmers than nobility. There are ways these things are done. And there are ways that kingdoms may crumble. I understand your feelings on the matter, Lady Larenthal. But Darren Gould enjoys the sympathies of many important persons here in the North, and I number myself among them. What's more, there have already been defections among the Azimeril nobility, most recently Aldnar. She speaks of your son, Lord Espen, who chose to forsake his birthright to join the rebels. Ah, yes. Thank you, Lady Larenthor, for reminding me. And I'll thank you, Lady Virulin, not to speak his name on this estate, nor in my hearing again. Ho ho ho! That touched a nerve. Oh, why, I will... Yes, you're gonna shut up, probably. <laughs> but you won't. <laughs> Whatever the loyalties of, uh, the young Lord of House Espen, the Southern nobles have many legitimate complaints. Heavy. Some say ruinous taxation, delayed shipments thanks to the Crown's regime of inspections and checkpoints, the King's insistence that Daron Gould's military, e even the Town Watch, must be trained in the North. It's quite a list. Yes, it's all very sad. I'm sure they toss and turn the night away on their beds of gold bars. Taxation and bureaucracy are simply the facts of managing a prosperous nation, of keeping our enemies at arm's length. How long would their precious minds keep producing without the king's protection? Did you know I heard this rebellion was prompted in part by a belief making the rounds in Deron Gould that the king himself is cursed? Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> so funny. Oh my! What exceptional nonsense! So he probably is cursed. <laughs> Have they been breathing the fumes of their own minds? Huh. Huh. All right, very amusing. But like Lady Varellen, I am not unsympathetic to our southern friends. Surely some of Isil Bright's rules and dictums could be culled, especially if it means avoiding war. A much more costly proposition than losing a handful of coin in taxes. Uh, really? Wise counsel, my friend. But I fear the time for compromise is already past. The message from Daron Gould was deliberately provocative, leaving the king no way to negotiate or save face. The time has come, lords and ladies, for us to commit our forces and our purses to our rightful liege, and crush Daron Gould. 
And probably this is what is gonna plot twist is gonna happen and all of them are gonna die. Or, or throw in with the rebels. They have the gold, they have a well-trained army, and most importantly, they control the mines. In a conflict of any significant length, having control of the source of the kingdom's metals means they must only outlast the North, rather than outright defeat her. Wow, your iron quality must suck, like, really badly. Juve, what is your opinion on recent developments? What the fuck you're asking me? I was just serving fucking wine around here. You're asking the errand boy? What does... Kindly do not interrupt me while sitting at my table, Lady Laranfall. Well, speak up. Peaceful solution must always be the best, especially if the only point of uh, sanitation is money. Never not, Geron Gould has legitimate grievances is beside the point. They must be crushed, to the otherwise would invite rebellions from every quarter. Say I have little expertise in political manners, for me the wisest course is silence. <laughs> Can I go completely passive here? Yes. A wise man must always be cognizant of his own ignorance. Thank you for reminding us all of that fact. My pleasure, my lord. What the? As I was saying, an earthquake here. My ladies, my lords, we are under attack. Please take shelter at once. Perhaps the cellar. You may wish to arm yourselves, my lords. How much time do we have? Too little, I'm afraid. Their numbers are overwhelming. We were forced to fall back to the main gate, and they're already here. Surely they will listen to reason, wherever they're from. Probably not. You know, they already started to fire at the goddamn gates. They won't kill us out of hand like so many soldiers. They wouldn't dare. Right? You are first time on the war front, my lady? Calmly, my friends. Let's all go out to meet them. They're not bandits after all. No, they're just murderers. Yes, go ahead. You have my blessing to speak on my behalf if it's of any use. Ha! <laughs> you? What? Where are you going? He is doing the wise thing and running the fuck away, probably. Come with me. Make haste. On my way! There? Coming, I'm coming, my lord, I'm coming! You, and you lot, with me! <laughs> what is this, my lord? That sound! Main gate has already been breached. The house of Espen is about to fall to the agents of Darrow Gould. Now, never mind that. Just follow. Oh my god! And you, prepare whatever spells you know. Surely your magical tutoring must be good for something. Gods know it costs enough. Hey, hey! It cost me like five minutes in the character creator screen, but okay, whatever. Okay, move it, boys! Go, 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 go! Where the fuck am I going? This way! Yeah, I... Okay. Alright. Oh! Great, thank God there's actually pals over here. Combat has started. You are free to stay out of the fight this time around. Soldiers of this set can handle themselves. If you decide to engage the attackers, clicking on them will send your character to attack. You can also attack both hostile and non-hostile creatures by clicking on the sword icon and something, something, something. During combat, some spells and abilities may cause combatants to be affected by status effects. Duration expressed in turns. Each turn takes 5 seconds to pass on default speed. Nice, so I got my acid bolt. So let's make a good use out of it. And cast it on this guy. Whoa! -ho! That's some nice animation. Badly injured. Good. My spells are recharging. Okay, spell recharge it. Fire! And dead! Uh oh. We have a mansion coming. Darren Gould, mage, elf, mortal, injured. Wanna bet about that? What do you mean resisted? Wow! Uh, I ran out of spells. I repeat, I ran out of spells. I need more spells. Missed, dodged. I, I get, I get, I, I got like, okay, never mind. He's dead. She's dead. Kill it! <laughs> Kill him! <laughs> Can you like aim for the head? I swear to God, like. Okay, good. 
Hurry up. Wait, I have to loot. Oh! Well, that's that was a lot of crap. Thank you. Thank you, game. Right, I'll have to loot the rest of this crap. Ooh. Luna Pendant. They're not getting past us. What about about that? I don't have any more spells. Hello? What are my spells? Skills? No. Weapons? No. Spells? No more spells active! Hello! <laughs> I'm out of spells! That ain't fun. Uh oh. Ah! Help! 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 Mage! Mage, you need help! Help! I'm under attack! <laughs> help me! Okay, never mind. Uh, okay, more crap. Guards, this door with your life. Come with me. One moment, my lord, I'm looting. Uh, okay, no, 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 I want to loot this thing as well. Oh, okay, great, potions and stuff. Right. Yes, of course I'm gonna do some looting. What did you fucking expect? Oh. Well, if, if I don't mind if I do. A book. The Fallen Prince Tales. Is this important for something? I hope it's important for something. Okay, more guys over there. I'm just gonna loot this thing. Yeah! <laughs> more equipment! Right. L give me a moment, my lord. I'm just gonna go to the library really quick. Oh my god. I can't believe this game actually allows me to do that thing. Portion of cure or all recipe. As you say. Very nice. Oh, more scrolls. As a mage, my duty is to sneak in every, I mean, sniff in every possible fucking bookshelf and find unknown crap. Every single one of them will be sniffed and all of the valuable goods will be taken. I am getting too much apparently. Hold on a second. Can I drop some of this crap? Uh, which one is actually- Listen to me. Listen closely. This is important. The Lady Espen was the love of my life. My one love. There was nothing arranged about our betrothal. My lord, it sucks. It sounds like the fight is coming to us. Perhaps we best ready ourselves. <laughs> Can we talk about your dead wife about other times, sir? And... Be quiet, I tell you. You never saw her yourself. Not that you'd remember, but if you had, she... She what? Gods damn these Derongold swine. Behind me is my dressing chamber. Go fetch my sword from there. My lord, maybe a few clever wars would serve better than a sword right now. I'm ready to fight. Fetch your own sword. I'm no soldier, perhaps I'll be spent if I surrender at once, my lord. Hurry! I will leave. I'm coming! I'm coming! I'm going! What? Hey! Leave Dawn alive! Huh. Well, they fucking died. No one was spared. No one was spared indeed. Found you at last, father. Didn't figure you would try and hide from your fate. Really? The son? The fuck is this thing? Happy family reunion? To be betrayed by my own son. Who wouldn't hide from such a terrible end? I've learned a few things, you see. Things your priests and man-at-arms could never teach. I have gained a new perspective. Seen the truth of this world. Well, you're actually starting to bald, so... Yeah, I hope that truth is gonna be something on your, about your head. So, you were not even paid in coin to turn traitor against your own house. Only pretty words. Kill me, if you wish. But I promise it will avail you nothing. Every man pays for his sins, my son. And the price of a sin such as this... Well... Enough of your piety! It sickens me. But your last decision, at least, is the correct one. Hold still, father. Oh no! Neo Dynamite! What? And he probably died. Don't worry, my child. Your hardships are over for today. What the fuck? Hey! 
<laughs> what the fuck was that supposed to be? Hello! Oh, my anus is probably in danger. Get up, lazy boy. It's time to go to bed. What? How the fuck? Little Vispen, here. I have to go back. Oh, come now. You'll be staying right here in my hut. It looks like you've suffered a nasty blow to the head. Where did I, how did I get here? I brought you here. But no more questions for tonight. There's a cot over there. You should try to get a good night's sleep. Tomorrow will be a very, very long day. Okay. You can send your character to rest by clicking on the rest button. The resting will replenish some of your character's health and store spells and abilities uses. Beware though, sleeping out in the wilds comes to the risk of attracting the beasts and rough faces uh, of the area. Seeking out and sleeping at inns is a safer and more comfortable option. At once. Hey! Wait, wait, wait. Okay, I still have my shit. Okay, good. Magical stuff. And then, oh, okay. I got a lot of crap. So... Oh. Okay, I don't think I want to take that armor just yet. The crone. What the fuck? And an angry cat. So, the game told me I can try to sleep skill some. Oh, okay. Wake up, lazy. Always sleeping, this one. Must have been raised by dream race. Good morning. Excuse me, I was raised by... Oh, no. He's... What are, my... what are dream raps? Hey, just because you're clearly never heard of the beauty sleep doesn't mean that you need to Im impunt my working ethic. Uh... This is it. A good morning for getting work done. Now, how about you make yourself useful and weed the garden? Hold on. I have some questions for you before I give you any help. Can you tell me I'm grieving? My leash was killed by his own son, Aldenar. I think I just got a few more hours to sleep in while you while you while I've got the chance. Is the hands will dry up cheers, boy? Now, I'll be making a suit this evening. You'll be helping. Oh, needing you to go out some find some things for us. Take a look at this list. Once you've read it, let me know, please. Okay, woman. Sure, I'm gonna try to help somehow. Quest inventory. All right. Gather the following: a handful of booster booster shrot, one brown steam mushroom, a slab of fox meat. Off I go. Okay. Can I put my crap into this closet here? Oh. Berry juice recipe. Sounds awesome, but for now I'd like to put some of the crap behind because I don't think I'm gonna need all of this crap. <laughs> I've actually taken a lot of crap with me. <laughs> yeah, okay, we got a sling, so we should be fine. A strong magical force is keeping the door shut. Feeling well? Oh, good, good, you know how to read. I have something that will help you gather what we need without hurting yourself too much. Thank you, Granny. Here, put these on. The fuck? Gardening gloves. Really? Really? Brewing and drying. Wait, why that thing was necessary? Because I was not reading. I was not paying attention, honestly. Okay, let's go. Why, why, why was that important? I was not reading. Oh, hello. Open your map, find the ingredients requested by the crop. What the fuck is this guy? Volandir. Yes. Greetings, fellow traveler. I am Volandir. Please forgive me if I, if I seem confused. I'm not well just now. The Dradic Order sent me to heal this forest. There's an invasive species of spider that I'm to cleanse. But they have unfortunately got the better of me. I've been severely bitten, and they are venomous as well. I cannot continue. I considered approaching the cabin when I was repul I was repulsed. The yellow spiders are destroying the natural balance in this area, and I am too weak to fight them now. But perhaps you could finish this work uh, on my behalf. I'll clear those yellow spiders for you. You are foolish to confine a stranger out of in the wilds, let alone admit that you are weak and defenseless. <laughs> Attack! Had you, uh, how did you come to be poisoned? 
A whole group of the little demons bounced at me at the same time and dealt multiple bites. This foreign species venom is more potent than that of our local arachnids. The wounds are not more lethal. I thankfully took the antidote in time, but I shall be dizzy for a week of, uh, and weak for a while yet. Tell me more about those awful spiders. Different chapters of my order have been reporting a disturbing trend in Yangrel forests. Yet in all forests, new and previously unknown species are moving in and mindlessly devouring and destroying our natural resources. Normally, I would say that the greed is, con uh, greed is a concept unknown to such simple creatures, yet the uh, coordinated matter in which they are driving out the local fauna and hoarding food and territory to no purpose strongly suggests this is the motivator. They must be breathing out before the damage becomes irreparable. Fine, I'll do this for you. Thank you for serving the Green Mother. There are four places in the forest where the infestation is thickest. A colony to the north and south, another bunch near the conspicuous bush to the, uh, also to the south, and one by the old bridge to the west. Off I go. Eventually, I'll deal with that. For now, though, I have to gather the resources necessary by the... What the fuck? It's an insect. <laughs> I have no damn idea why I have to set it to... T oh, fox. So let me guess, I have to kill the f poor fox. Slay the fox wanting the area to collect its meat for the crown. Crown. You can do this by ordering your character to attack it. Sure. Sorry, foxy. Don't move. It's gonna stink a little. Poor fox. Oh no, I killed the poor animal. Oh great, we also got some uh, pelts. Slay the fox wandering, okay. Spellcaster may attempt to use an offensive spell from among the memorized spells. Sit it in the quick slots above the portrait uh, row. Forest spider. Eh! I hate spiders! Right, this thing. Moon glider. I mean, it's not nailed to the ground, so let's take it! Oh my fucking god, this looks exactly like in Baldur's Gate. Even the noise is similar. Ugh. <laughs> ah crap, I walked too close to a fucking spider and he became aggressive. Kill it! Kill it! Phew, I've killed it. Phew, they got. Okay, so not to self, you actually, uh, you apparently need to kill the fucking spiders, otherwise this, this is gonna be a pain and it has to go through. Right, that's why I have the spells here for fire. One dead. Wow, I'm really good at killing spiders, apparently. Uh, ah, good. This is the thing I need. Get over here. Kill the other spider. As you uh, wait. There is a bit too many of them over here. Can I use this thing? Hopefully, it's gonna affect all of them. And what's the damage? Yay! Two of them killed! Eewee spells are the best! This one didn't die though. Ha <laughs> ha! All going according to plan. Okay, good. Yeah, I got all the necessary ingredients for the soup. Lovely. I had to actually rest because, well, you know, I ran out of spells. Okay, there are spiders over here, so if I'm gonna do my spells, I should be able to kill the- uh oh! Yay! Damage taken. Not not enough though. Ow! Ow! The spider setup is way more aggressive during night time. Way more aggressive. Okay. Well, I I learned one thing. I did more motherfucking spells. That's for sure. Hello, I've returned. Uh, are the slain? Yep. Uh, they will trouble the forest no more. Thank you for helping. I need more time to recuperate, but I believe I will recover eventually. Take this antidote. I've I had more than I need already. Now that the spiders are gone, you'll make better use of it, I'm sure. No, keep the antidote for yourself. Who knows what perils you might face on your road home. Yeah, I I will manage. I don't need a vial of you. I don't need a vial of you spit mixed with herbs. Your other gear will come in handy, however. <laughs> This is kind of you, very kind. I will mention you when I report this great success. As you say. 
I've made a level up. The characters have gained enough experience to level up. Click on the icon appeared on the character portrait to start the process. Hmm? Oh, okay. On your character sheet, you can speed, uh, spend points to improve your character's general skills, class skills, and weapon skills. You can add or remove points from skills using the arrows on the right. Wizards characters may also spend points on new spells. So I'd like to get more probably into learning and research. Class skills. Prodigy, arcane, st okay, let's keep going with arcane studies. Weapon, I need to go with slings more. There we go, accept. But can I please get some more? Your character is capable of learning, memorizing, and casting spells. Spells need to be memorized. I could have more fucking spells? Ugh. Son of a bitch. I could I could have more spells, but I didn't load any anyone to actually Never mind, shut up! What good? You put your gloves on just like the rest of us. All fingers at the same time. Yes, thank you, Granny. You weren't trying to put them on one finger at a time, were you? Yes, 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 I get it. You you are very like, you know funny. You know, grandma jokes around here. You are basically a form to my side as, as we speak. Ah, look at yourself! What a delighted hero you are! Didn't even need a stuff I was going to give you for the protection. Here, take it anyway. Let's see about the harvest. It's all here, yes, perfect. Uh, how can you tell what's in my pack and wasn't what, what isn't? Uh, now, that I've, now that I've gotten what you need, I have more questions about what's going on here. I'm getting hungry. Take what you need from my pack. Ah, let's say I'm just feeling like everything is where it should be. Or if this is easy to accept, I spent many long days sniffing around, uh, so my nose knows. Uh, okay, I have more questions. No, no, let's get the pot boiling first and then. What? What's this? Did you forget to make these herbs edible, child? Come now, you must try them to bring out the flavor. Surely you've cooked before? No, I'm just responsible for wine delivery. I have to wonder what that Lord Espen even had your tutors teach you at his fancy estate. Oh, oh well, take this candle and get to drying. Then crush the dried herbs into powder so we have something to season the soup with. How do I do that? Yeah, I get it. I already got that thing. You can see spells character has learned from the left. Uh, okay. Occupy spell slots can be afraid by clicking. Unaccept us. Okay. Yes, I get it. Can we carry on? Various materials collected in the world may serve as ingredients for crafting. Plants, mushrooms, fruits, and insects can be brought into potions or dried and crushed into powder. Besides the fresh materials, you need tools to perform those actions, a cauldron for brewing, and a heat source for like a candles for, or a lantern for drying. To begin drying, you first need to unopen your inventory screen. Drying. Uh, click and move it to the highlighted drying slot. To switch between ingredients and heating devices, click the leaf uh, or cauldron buttons on the top of the drying tab. During brewing, those same buttons are used to navigate between ingredients and brewing devices. Click start drying. Your ingredients are now dried. Your candle has been consumed in the process. Lanterns, on the other hand, can be used indefinitely. They also enable the use of various heat levels. Click the start crushing button to crush your ingredients into powder. Unlike brewing and drying, crushing takes a short while to finish. Wow! <laughs> what the fuck is this thing? Cooking simulator? <laughs> Click on the collect button. Alright. Ah, I have it in my inventory. Okay, great. Here, grandma. Good, good, well and dried. Give me just a moment and... There, it's on the fire. 
Now we have a few precious moments to spare. We should talk. First of all, who the fuck are you? About talking. Talk about talking. What do you mean? I think I would rather talk about something else. Stop with the riddles, old woman, and complete your task, and then you answer my questions. Are you trying to teach me something, Lauren? Can research. Very good. I think you already have a hang of it. But I guess that was a fluke. The idea is this: taking the time and effort to gain knowledge or even learning to talk will benefit you greatly in difficult times ahead. Pay close attention to what you might uncover in the conversations through wit or charm. I'm still not getting it. That's a valuable lesson. I'm glad you f uh, you find it to be. Now, I'm certain you have more questions. Perhaps I can continue being ins instructive. Why did you save me from the assault on Espen estate? I keep an eye on Lord Espen. He was a force of Balatinism dealt. Is Islim dealt. His death means that balance has failed. And this also happens that I have a soft spot for young people of potential. You were in the wrong place in the wrong in the right time, and I have a chance to aid you. Why is this? Uh, why is that you keep here and making me all of this? You weren't ready for Andra's attack in his father's manner, and I don't believe you were ready. For the house of the world, as it was when I pulled you from it. You are here to keep your, you're here to keep you safe, and to make sure that you're ready for the next calamity you find yourself in. Who are you, really? I'm afraid that is the one question I cannot answer for you. It's easy to say that I am someone you were meant to meet. I'm here to set you on your way towards what you must accomplish. What I must accomplish? Pardon me, I misspoke. There are two questions I cannot answer for you. <laughs> okay, is this almost ready? Ah, yes, yes, almost ready indeed. Now there's something you should know. What? You're allergic to mushrooms? When you leave here, the world you knew yesterday will be gone. Go on. The attack on the Espen estate was only the first spark of a consuming fire, I am afraid. Much will be lost to strife and war. Okay, now she got serious. There are worse things than war, though. There is something you must understand before you leave here. Alright. A great and terrible curse has fallen over Isilmerald and much of the rest of Yerengal. It drives men and women to madness. It starves the prince and turns the pauper to a life of desperation. It is the essence of avarice itself. A curse of greed spreads through the land. Greed isn't a curse, it's just a vice. Yes, yes. Ordinarily, it would be right. This is no normal greed, no. There is magic behind it. No mere apprentices can trip either. It is most dangerous. And you must understand that. Okay. Ah, the stew is done now. Just let it cool. Ah, I think I could look at you now. You're a bit of a magician, aren't you? I know a cantrip or two. A bit? I'll have to know that I am a greatly feared and respected of my magical powers. Of course not, I spend my time learning respectable things, like not magic. A fair assessment of your abilities, yes, yes, you have much to learn. Let's get you started here. Take this. It's a scroll containing a spell for you to learn. Give it a read. Open the scroll description to learn it. Magic egg. Scorpion. What? A large egg appears on the battlefield, falling soon by the scorpion, scorpion side. Oh my fucking god. Scribe spell. Very good. I see the look of recognition in your eyes, you know, on your spell. You must learn as many as you can. I say this with care. Magic will keep you alive, but also uh, hold unforeseen dangers. Now, there's a trap in this room. Ready to give you a little scare if you aren't careful. Go see if you can find this armament. No time to waste. 
Yeah, I see it already. The character has spotted a shop. The magical per perception skill can be used with, by wizards to find and design shops with magical components. To use your skill, open the skills about above the portrait now. Ah, so this is the thing. Click on the trap uh, highlighted the character of Yadda. Uh, finding one is easier than disarming it. You might find your character unable to disarm traps that they detected. You can uh, you can try again with a greater success after investigating more into the skill. Very good! The freezing enchantment that trap was but a mere nuisance. Other devices like this may not be so gentle. As a wizard, you'll be running across many particular things in your journey. Some will meant your harm, but you have the sense to spot them in time. Ah, but what is it? What, 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 but what was it that we... Oh, yes. Ah, we've done it. The stew is cooked and, co cooked and cooled. Here, boy, this will warm you up after a long, long day. I see that look in your eye again. No more questions for today. Eat your stew and get some rest. Hi. What? What else? <laughs> I'm supposed to actually eat? They have a they have a thing in my inventory. Don't see anything over here. She didn't give me anything to eat. Okay, hold on a second. I will have to add the new spell. Uh Okay. We'll see how that is gonna go. And time to do some resting. Good morning. I fear that our time together is nearing an end. I still don't understand what we have been doing here. Thank you for your help. No, no. It's not a great thing. I need to be certain you were ready to face the world. So does that mean I am ready? Oh, yes, yes. As ready as one can be. What's going on? Going on out in the world that I need to be ready for. Conflict is to be expected everywhere you go. Great things are coming. More, I cannot say. No, no. Is that all? Yes, that is the gist of it. Things were put in motion all over Yerengel since I plucked you from your father's house. My. Are you telling me that? Wait, what? Here I say. Are you telling me that? Lord Espen was your father, yes. That can't be true. I was merely a servant in his house. The dead years of Yerengel were your mother's midwaves. They had a purpose in mind for you. And they had to secure your safety so that you could live up to that purpose. You were born into that treacherous world, my dear. It was very important. You did not recognize as Espen's heir before the time was right. As the gods peered through the whales of the void, they decided to make you... In your mother's image. As well as closely guarded secrets of your mother's connection to Lord Espen ensured to your safety until now. We haven't the time to go into the story in great detail, but you are a true heir of Lord Espen. Knowing this should be enough. Now you understand why Lord Espen paid you so much attention, despite your servitude. The other servants surely did not receive the same education. Or the same favors, nor did anyone else in this house expect your half-brother, Alderan. Oh gods, he killed our father. He did? And that is the world I must set you in back into. One where the sole heir of Lord Espen committed parricide. One unaware yet hostile to existence. This is all too much. I have no idea where I am. My father was Lord Espen, and of course of greed as you've mentioned before. Yes, child. But you are ready for the world now. You will succeed. So the training of the master plan was to teach me how to make a fucking stew by collecting mushrooms and some roots. And now you're telling me I'm ready to save the fucking world from an ancient curse and my half-brother who apparently wants to make, like, fucking war of the place. Total war! Great. Or perhaps you will fail, but I think at least you will fail well. Yes, yes. Thank you again for the sage advice. Now you must go face the world, Nimodermite. I have enjoyed your time together. You'll find the path clear. Be safe, my child. Off I go. Thank you, woman. Travel into Isabrift. 
Well, it's another man. At once. Here we go on an epic adventure in the middle of nowhere, leaving the old witch house on a swamp full of God knows what. Armed with spells. Armed with sp armed with spells ready to be casted upon our foes and a legacy untold. Yeah, something like that. So we'll see how that thing is gonna go. If you want to try the game yourself, link is in the description below as always. So go ahead, give it a try. Let me know what you think. Uh, if you made yourself a good character, feel free to fucking share it. Because I have a feeling that this one is gonna eventually fail. Or maybe it's actually gonna succeed. I don't know, we'll see. But that's gonna be the thing, ladies and gentlemen. We're gonna do, I guess, in the future episodes. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the next episode. Thanks a lot. That's you all in the next video.